We start our journey today with stories from the heart. Individuals whose lives have been touched, transformed, and uplifted by their relationship with God. Just imagine a web of lives, each thread woven with its own trials and triumphs, yet all intertwined through a shared love for God. These are the stories of people, everyday folks like you and me, who have found solace, strength, and purpose in their faith. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this video and finding value in these stories, please show some support by hitting that like button. It helps to share these powerful testimonies with others who may need them. Now, let's dive back into these inspiring stories. Take Jane, for instance. She was at a crossroads, feeling lost and of which path to take. The world was a whirlwind, full of uncertainty. But in the midst of this chaos, she found her compass in prayer in her unwavering faith in God. Then there's Carlos, who battled addiction for years, a struggle that seemed insurmountable. But through his devotion to God, he found the courage to confront his demons, to rise above, and to reclaim his life. His journey wasn't easy, but his faith was his beacon, guiding him through even the darkest nights. Or consider Lily, who despite facing the unbearable loss of a loved one, found comfort and healing in her relationship with God, her faith was her sanctuary, a refuge where she could grieve, heal, and ultimately find a new path forward. And let's not forget about Sam, whose life was upended by a devastating illness. It seemed like all hope was lost, but his faith in God gave him the strength to persevere. His relationship with God was his lifeboat, carrying him through the stormy seas of his health crisis. These stories, these lives, are all unique. Yet they share a common thread, a profound, unwavering devotion to God. Through their trials and tribulations, their joys and sorrows, their faith has been their guiding light, their compass in times of uncertainty. These stories are a testament to the power of faith and the profound impact of loving God wholeheartedly. In the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 37, we find a compelling commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This verse, nestled deep within the teachings of Jesus, serves as a cornerstone in the Christian faith. It's a call to wholehearted devotion, a plea to love God not just in part, but in entirety, heart, soul, and mind. Let's delve a little deeper, shall we? Firstly, the heart. In biblical terms, the heart often represents the core of our emotions, our passions and desires. So to love God with all our heart is to infuse our deepest feelings with divine love, to direct our passions towards Him, and to desire His presence in our lives above all else. Next, the soul. The soul in this context can be seen as the essence of who we are, our very being. To love God with all our soul means to align our identity with His love, to see ourselves in the light of His grace, and to find our purpose in serving Him. Lastly, the mind. Our mind is the seat of our thoughts, our intellect. When we love God with all our mind, we are called to engage with Him intellectually, to explore and understand His teachings, and to allow His wisdom to guide our decisions and shape our worldview. So what happens when we love God with our heart, soul, and mind? We transform. Our emotions align with love, our identity becomes grounded in grace, and our thoughts are guided by divine wisdom. We become conduits of God's love, radiating His grace to those around us. This verse, Matthew 22, 37, is more than just a commandment. It's an invitation to a life of profound transformation, a life that is anchored in the love of God, a life that resonates with divine purpose. This verse urges us to a wholehearted devotion, a love that encompasses every part of our being. We now turn to spiritual leaders who have devoted their lives to understanding and teaching the Word of God. In the quest to comprehend the profound depths of Matthew 22:37, there's no better place to turn than to those who have dedicated their lives to the exploration of God's Word. These spiritual leaders, these guides on our journey, share their wisdom and insights, not from an academic perspective, but from a place of lived experience and deep abiding love for the Lord. First, we hear from Pastor James, a man who spent more than four decades preaching from the pulpit. He tells us, loving God with all your being, it's not just about feeling or emotion, 
It's about commitment. It's about surrendering your will to His and seeking His guidance in every aspect of your life. Next, we turn to Sister Margaret, a nun who has spent her life in quiet contemplation and service. She shares, When we love God with all our heart, soul, and mind, we are drawn into a closer relationship with Him. We become more aware of His presence in our lives and are able to discern His will more clearly. Dr. Samuel, a theologian and author, then adds his perspective. Matthew 22:37, he says, is a call to holistic devotion. It's not about compartmentalizing our love for God into separate areas of our life. It's about making that love the very foundation on which everything else is built. These spiritual leaders remind us that love for God is not a passive, abstract concept. It's an active, dynamic force that shapes our thoughts, our actions, our relationships, and our very understanding of the world around us. It's about putting God first, not just in our hearts, but in every aspect of our lives. Reverend Linder, a well-respected Bible scholar, sums it up beautifully. When we love God with everything that we are, she says, we are transformed. We see the world through His eyes. We love others with His love. We live not for ourselves, but for Him. As we hear these words, we are reminded of the profound wisdom and spiritual insight that these leaders bring to the table. They challenge us to delve deeper, to question our understanding, to strive for a more profound and meaningful relationship with God. In their words, we hear echoes of Matthew 22:37. We see a picture of what it means to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our soul, and all our mind. It's a picture of devotion, of surrender, of transformation. These leaders offer a deeper understanding of the transformative power of loving God wholeheartedly. But what does this transformation look like? How does a wholehearted devotion to God impact our daily lives and our interactions with the world around us? Let's delve into the transformative power of devotion. When we love God with all our heart, soul, and mind, we begin to see a shift in our perspectives and actions. The mundane becomes sacred, the ordinary turns extraordinary, and the trivial becomes significant. This love is like a compass, guiding us on our journey through life. It helps us navigate the stormy seas of adversity and the arid deserts of despair. It provides us with a sense of purpose and a foundation of values that shape our decisions. We start to live not for ourselves, but for a higher purpose. And this selfless love reflects in our actions paving the way for positive changes. But this transformation isn't limited to the individual. A community of people devoted to God becomes a beacon of hope, love, and service. It cultivates an environment of mutual respect and understanding, where differences are celebrated and conflicts resolved peacefully. Imagine a world where everyone is driven by this love for God, a world where greed, hatred, and selfishness are replaced with generosity, love, and selflessness. A world where the focus shifts from I to we. This is the transformative power of devotion. This love for God also fuels our compassion towards others. As we understand that every individual is a creation of God, we become more empathetic, more forgiving, and more accepting. We start seeing God in the faces of the poor, the downtrodden, and the marginalized, and our hearts are moved to serve. This transformative power of devotion doesn't just alter us, it changes the world around us. It's like throwing a pebble into a pond. The ripples spread out, touching everything in their path, creating a chain reaction of positive change. As we have seen, loving God with all our heart, soul, and mind can truly transform not just our own lives, but also the world around us. As we draw our journey to a close, we reflect on the profound insights shared in the stories of transformation we have heard. Today, we've delved into the depths of the soul, where love for God reigns supreme. We've heard testimonies of personal metamorphosis and wisdom from spiritual leaders, each underlining the significance of loving God with all our heart, soul, and mind. This devotion, we've learned, is not merely a passive emotion, but a dynamic force that permeates every facet of our existence. It's a beacon that guides our actions, shapes our perspectives, and infuses our lives with purpose and fulfillment. And it's through this love, this all-encompassing, wholehearted devotion, 
that we can truly transform not just ourselves but our world. So, let's take these insights to heart. Let's allow them to inspire us, to guide us on our spiritual journeys. May we all strive to love God wholeheartedly and in doing so, experience the transformative power of such devotion in our lives.